Yeah, this is the 2021 Ducati Diablo 1260S. Uh, we're talking about the Corbin seat today. So the factory seat, I went on a road trip, probably about 1,200 miles round trip. And the stock seat, you know, it was painful after about 60 to 70 miles. 60 to 70 miles of nonstop riding and my ass hurt so bad I wanted to jump off the bike, straight ghost ride it, just to get some relief. Um, so I decided, okay, I'm gonna go with a Corbin seat. Uh, my uncle had been riding for like 40 years and in, sometime in the early 90s he had picked up a Corbin seat out of California, like Hollister, Gilroy or something, where the, one of the, where the original Corbin factory was. And he swore by the Corbin seat, so he said, yeah, go with Corbin, they're, they're the best, this and that. So I ordered it up. I wanna say it was like $600 or something. <clears throat> and, you know, it looks pretty cool. Right? It's a pretty good design. And the cool thing about these is, is you, you can just customize the hell out of it. Like, you know, what material do you want here? Do you want here? Do you want here? How do you want this to look? What, you know, do you want a strip right here? All these, you know, you have so many options for customization. It's just mind boggling, right? Um, on Corbin's website, this was the exact design that they had featured on the site. So I just went with it because I thought it looked pretty good and didn't want to waste too much time. Um, I'm not using any real leather anywhere on this seat. Um, just because, you know, real leather, I mean, I, I live in Texas, it's really hot in my garage. You know, it can get 110, 115 in my garage, so I didn't want to have real leather because the, the temperature, the weather would just destroy it. Um, now let's talk about comfort on the seat. So, I rode this thing about 80 miles nonstop a couple days ago, and my ass did not hurt at all, Okay. It didn't hurt at all. Now, if you push on, if you get this seat and you push on it, you're like, oh, wow, it's not as soft, right? When you push on this, it's not as soft as the factory seat. But they use a superior foam in there uh, and they mold this seat, this the, the design and the slope and everything based on your inseam and your height, in, height and inseam. Um, so for some reason, you know, this seat is just significantly more comfortable and when you go over railroad tracks or things like that, you don't have to lift your ass up. You don't have to stand up on the pegs and lift your ass up. You can just stay seated on the seat and it doesn't hurt at all because this padding does not bottom out. It stays you know, pretty firm, but also comfortable at the same time. And, and apparently this foam too, over time, will mold to your, um, to your ass essentially. So um, it's pretty good. Now let, let's do a comparison between these seats. Hang on. All right, we're just gonna do a quick comparison here. So uh, factory seats on the left. Corbin custom seats on the right. Um, the design is you know, it's a little different, right? So this has like a little post coming out. It's got some rubber feet here, rivets instead of glue or staples, whatever the factory uses. Um, and then the the you know the stock one has you know this kind of setup here, um, you know with some kind of flimsier rubber feet on the bottom. Uh, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the factory seat is also um, a little bit wider from left to right. Um, it's got this thing in it. This, the, you know, this seat doesn't have that. And then the rear of the seat is significantly larger. This is significantly larger. And you might think, well, it's larger. It's going to be more comfortable. But the reality is that this is actually more comfortable, um, believe it or not. And th this seat sticks out a little bit more in the back than this one does. This is like, you know, it just looks real flush and clean on the bike. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and we'll show you what the bottom of the seats look like um, You know one thing here is you know you you push on this and, and it bottoms out to the to the plastic underneath pretty quickly Like you can actually push down to the plastic But on this one you have to push insanely hard through the foam to get all the way to the plastic So this foam is a, is a lighter weight foam um, And it's just gonna get compressed um, to a point where your ass hurts pretty quickly Okay, here, here's the bottom, right? So you can see, you know, here we've got rubber pads, rubber pads everywhere. Um, no rubber pads anywhere here. Um, you have two here, uh, and then you have these two guys, and then two in the rear. And then you have your little spindle um, for the lockdown, okay? Um, and, you know, if you just kind of look at the difference right you have your tool tie down here but unfortunately on this seat you don't have that um 
and then over here you've got this rubber grommet in the rear here you don't have it here um, and I think that this this plastic right here is gonna be thicker a little thicker and heavier so they have less rubber supporting supporting um, grommets <clears throat> as a result of that and they're strategically placed where they need to be um, to support the seat properly on the frame you know I haven't had or experienced any issues with this seat moving around or shifting or making noise or rubbing on the frame you know those little rubber grommets they sit you know in all the right places so um, no issues there and you know it's really just just a fantastic seat now you can, if you want to, you can send this, this panel here. I mean, it's, it's flimsy, right? You can hear the difference when you tap on it. Um, you can send your stock seat and they'll redo your stock seat for you, new foam and everything. But the reality is when you go to sell your bike, a lot of people want a factory seat, um, which is why I opted to just have an entirely new seat made it instead of, you know, bastardizing the factory seat. Um, and that seemed to work out pretty well. So these two rubber grommets right here, um, they're gonna sit uh, on here somewhere, like either, uh, I think either here or here, somewhere on the frame right here, those rubber grommets, you can kind of see where the old square ones used to sit. Here's a square one, here's a square one. Um, another square one used to sit here. So those round ones are sitting somewhere around here. Um, <clears throat> and then in the rear, um, let's see where the rear ones are. Okay, so the rear rear ones are kind of like left and right, um, just aside the pin. Um, these ones are left and right aside this guy. So um, left and right aside there. So um, that those are essentially going to sit somewhere like I don't know around here or something. Um, it's kind of an interesting position. Or let's see, left and right. They're actually sitting right here. Right, right here. I guess the rubber grommets are sitting directly on the painted surface here. Uh, based on what I can see. Yeah, they're sitting here. Okay, those front ones. And then the rears are sitting left and right. They're sitting kind of here. Right here on this uh, bracket and on this bracket. Or on the flat part right here. This flat part right here. And on this flat part right here. That's where those rubber grommets are sitting. Boom and boom. Okay. Um, so is it worth the money if you're going to do long distance road trips absolutely if you're going to ride in short bursts and you're going to take breaks yeah just stick with the stock seat there's no need there's no need to change your seat it's only when you're riding for the you know multiple days the entire day you want to ride for an entire tank before you stop um, that you're going to need a corbin seat so there it is the corbin And I'll just walk around and show you how it sits on the bike so you can really see it very well all the way around. Okay. Now this little patch in here that you see sneaking out, that's genuine leather, okay? That's genuine leather that sits against your painted surface to protect your painted surface from wear, okay? So if there's any rubbing, I mean this seat is just so solid on here, like it just doesn't even move. It's solid, you know? Um, on the rear here, I did kind of go with this carbon fiber panel. It's a little bit slippery, okay? A little bit slippery so if you do this rear piece you know my recommendation might be to go with the same material that's used here here because this has a little bit more grip to it a little bit more grip but overall an absolutely fantastic seat